everybody and welcome back. If your chordal playing or your chord progressions seem to sound a bit stale lately, this video certainly is for you. You're probably used to playing chords in what is called triads, which means we take a note and then we take a third up from it to find our third and then another third up from it to find our fifth. That's how all our major, minor, diminished and augmented chords are built. And if you want to learn more about any of those chords, check out this link. There's everything you'll ever need to know about them here. It's eight and a half hours long though, so I warned you. But today we're going to build chords in a different way, which is build them up in fourths. And this is called quartal harmony. And let's get to it. The easiest way to introduce you to quartal harmony or chords built in fourths is to actually go back to the good old chords built on thirds. Let's say I have a C as a starting note and uh, I want to find a third above it. All I have to do is find C, D and E and play that E. Now this could be an E flat, an E or an E sharp. We won't get into that today, but still this works. This is a third, it's an E. And then from the E, I could go E, F, G and find myself the G, which is the fifth of the chord. That's a major chord, but I can keep going with thirds, find the third from G, G, A, B, and this gives me a major uh, seventh chord, and I could keep going, B to D, D to F, and so on. And as a matter of fact, if I go far enough, I have all my notes in use. So I use seven notes in a chord, although that's quite unusual. With quartal harmony, it's kind of the same thing, but instead of counting thirds, we count fourths. So let's say I'm in C again, the next note up will be C, D, E, F. It will be an F. And then the next note up, F, G, A, B, will be a B. And I could continue, of course, the next note up will be an E, and then an A. And we could keep going. Now, today we'll focus on three notes and four note chords. And uh, you can certainly do more. If you're on my Patreon, I'll have an extra little video for you this week where we explore some other chords, but you certainly can figure it out for yourself. You just keep adding fourths. Now, one thing we should talk about before we start, there's a lot of fourths. There's perfect fourths, there's augmented fourths, there's diminished fourths. And so today we're actually going to focus on the fourths that keep us in key. Let me show you this with this example again. We have C. A perfect fourth up from C is five half steps, and that gives us F. Now, if I go up five half steps from F, I'm going to find a B flat. This is certainly a valid chordal chord, but because I want to stay in the key of C, I will move it up to an augmented fourth to B. Okay, so we're always going to stick to C, D, E, F, G, A, B. We're never going to use any sharps or flats in today's video, but certainly you feel free to do that depending on what key you are in. All right, so today we'll stick to natural notes and always keep the distance of a fourth. Let's start with three note chords. These are kind of the counterpoint to the usual major and minor triads because they're made up of only three notes. Although, don't try to really name these chords. You know, they become really weird. You can just accept them for what they are. They're quartal harmony. They have strange names if you want to name them, but we won't get into that today. You can just memorize the shapes and the sound and the feel that you get from them. Okay, I'll demonstrate the first two of them for you step by step, and then the same process applies to all the other notes. And of course, you'll have a score and tab for each of these chords, so you can certainly figure it all out. But let's start with C again. So I have my C here. I want to go to the fourth from C, C, D, E, F. I always want the natural note, so F will work. And then from F, F, G, A, B. I want the B, and if I have to move up one fret or down one fret, I don't mind. I keep them natural. Okay, this is my first shape. You see how the guitar is really built in fourths, and so you'll notice many of these shapes are really easy to finger if you're familiar with bar chords. When I go up to the next note, D, I'll do the same thing. I start from D, which is my second note in the key of C major, and then just look for whatever fourth is up from D. So D, E, F, G, that would be my next note, as you guessed, right underneath it. And then from G, I walk my way up to C, which is the fourth of G. And again, it's right underneath the same fret. So it's five, five, five. So now I have these two chords, right? If I keep doing it from E and F, and then G, A, and B, I'm back again to C. And so this would be my my scale harmonized 
with three note quarter harmonies. And uh, I'll play the whole thing for you really slow and you can follow along if you like. Feel free, of course, to mix and match. Maybe arpeggiate a little bit. Right, you can just improvise a little bit with the shapes, get used to them. Of course, these are only these three strings, so feel free to move them up to the sixth string or down to uh, the fourth and third. Just make sure you take care of that second string, which is tuned differently. Now let's move on to something more interesting, maybe, which is uh, basically what I played in the intro, which is the same idea. We're still harmonizing the C major scale, but now we're going to use four notes. So we're going to find three fourth intervals, and it goes like this. I'm in C again. So I had C, F, and B as my fourth, and I'm just gonna build one more. So B, C, D, and E. I look for an E, and it's right here on the fifth fret of the second string. You see how rich it gets really quick. Very nice. And then we can do the same thing on the next one, which was uh, D, G, and C. I'm gonna add one more fourth, which is F, of course, here on the sixth string, on the sec on the sixth fret of the second string. And I keep doing the same thing, always maintaining fourths and fourths and fourths. And again, I'll show it to you, starting from the C down here, the whole octave, and it goes like this. Very nice, and again, feel free to play with them and figure out your own chord progressions. What I played at the beginning is just simple mix and match of these chords, there's nothing new. And uh, you could take this even further, of course, by adding fourths and fourths. Now, one thing we should talk about really quick before we finish is that as you add more and more fourths, then these chords will start at least resembling some other chords. For example, when I'm here on C, right, I had C, F, and B, which is really a weird chord. There's really no clear relationship among all the notes. But once I add the E here, so the fourth of B, now I get this C, E, right? That's a major third. So this kind of makes me think this could also be seen as a major chord. Plus I have the B here, which makes it a major seventh chord. All I'm missing is the G, and instead of the G, I have an F. So I could start looking at it like some kind of major seventh chord, major 11, something like that. And when I move up here, if you know your chords, you'll see that it reminds you of certain shapes that you've seen before. And that way you can try to kind of make sense of this chordal harmony thing. But again, I don't think it's necessary. I think once you're bored of the same old chords, you can try this and uh, discover new voicings and discover new feelings and uh, emotions actually that get created when you play like this. This one is really beautiful. And uh, that's it. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, please do like, subscribe, but especially comment. I really love reading your comments and replying whenever I can be of assistance. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.